Hi everyone. This video contains demonstrations and discussions on the practice exercises found in our modules. Specifically, this video will can be concerned on the first practice exercise on lesson one of our unit number two. Unit number two is all about rational exponents. And lesson number one is all about the reviews on laws of exponents. So let me share to you first the window containing the already open material and the in the Kotobi Reader application software. Okay, we coined this as a review on loss of exponents because you were able to talk about loss of exponents way back in your grade seven and last year as well in your grade eight. Uh, but before we will dig deeper on the other types of rational exponents and even in the exponential equation, we need to talk about the loss of exponents already discussed in the previous years. But for this video, we are just going to proceed immediately to the practice exercises. We will start first with the basic concepts of exponents presented in the practice exercise A. So we are tasked here to determine what is the base, what are the what is the exponent. We will expand this form and we will take the result. It, again, this is just very basic because this is very important when we deal with uh, rational, uh, fractional exponents and exponential, ex expo exponential equations later on. So let me share now the screen of the Paint application software where I already placed practice exercise A. So we have four items in practice exercise A. Again, we are tasked to determine what is the base of the of the exponentiation or the exponential notation, what is the exponent. We will expand it and take the result. For number one, okay, for number one, our base, again, uh, any exponential notation or or in short, exponentiation is in the form of a to the power of n. A to the power of n, where a here is our base and the n is our exponent. The exponent tells us that uh, the number, uh, the value of the exponent tells us how many times the base is being multiplied to itself. Exponentiation is again the, con uh, the condensed form of repetitive multiplication. So for number one, for the base, and then we have here exponent. The base for number one is here as given by the expression three cube. The base is what you see here, which is actually the three, and the exponent is what you see at the top, which is also three. This tells us that the number three or the base three is multiplied up to itself three times. So the expanded form, expanded form, let me call it as x form, right? For this is actually equal to three. Uh, let us not use the symbol x, let us use parentheses, three times three times three. This means there are three threes multiplied to each other. And as for the result, okay? So the last, as for the result, this is our expanded form. As for the result, we're just simply going to take to to multiply the the numbers three times three is nine, and then multiplied by another three, the answer is twenty seven. Again, the practice exercise A is very basic, but we need to take these basic concepts as we go deeper in the next practice exercises. As for number two, right, our base here, our given is. For number two is five squared. So our base here is five. Next, our exponent is the square or a value of two. Expanded form. It means we need to multiply five to itself twice. So you have five times five. Again, I need to repeat, we, we will not use anymore the symbol x for multiplication because it might mean a variable x later on. So rather, we, instead of using x as multiplication, we will use parentheses. And finally, for the result, our answer 
Our result is 5 times 5, 25. Okay? So this is our answer for number 2. For number 3, okay, let me copy this para di ata magsigig type. Number 3. For number 3, let's delete this first. Delete this here as well. And this one. And let me copy the same for number 4. Okay. Yeah. For number three, the given is one half raised to the power of five. Our base here is a fraction form, one half. Our exponent is five. The expanded form of number three is um, looks like looks like a um, one half multiplied to itself five times. So you have one half times one half times one half times another one half and finally multiplied to another one half so we have five one half multiplied to itself and then as we multiply the fractions we know that when we multiply fractions we use the process of multiplying numerators all numerators all over multiplying all denominators so one times one times one times one we have one over 2 times 2, 4, times 2, 8, times 2, 16, and times 2, 32. So 1 half to the power of 5 is equal to 1 32nd. Okay? And finally, for the last number, the given is 10 to the power of 6. So the base is 10. The exponent is 6. The expanded form is 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 we still have one other 10 and finally the last this is 10 okay, last 10 we have six ten tens multiplied to each other so we simply multiply them for a result our result has is a number with six zeros in short the answer is one million 10 times 10, 100, times 10, 1,000, times 10, 10,000, times 10, 100,000, and times 10, 1 million. Again, this looks like very basic, but this is how we will, we need to, uh, this is how we expand, uh, this is how we represent exponentiation or exponential notation, which will be very important as we dig deeper, especially for the next practice exercises. So prepare yourselves for the next video, which will be concerned on the practice exercise B of the same lesson. That's it for this video. Goodbye.